Hey guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. And lads, I cannot thank you enough for the incredible support on the first couple of episodes of this campaign. I am having a wonderful time. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. You are wonderful, and uh, I hope this finds you well. Uh, I do want to say, before we get started, that uh, we are making a push on the Patreon. I would like to have $1,000 of monthly support on the Patreon. We are very, 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 very close, and uh, I would really like to push it there. Um, if you guys have it within your means and you are able to support us on Patreon, as low as a dollar a month is... Uh, more than helpful and it's more than enough it basically forgives any bit of ad revenue that you would ever use from using an ad block or something like that and uh it helps the channel at the end of the day that's the main thing that's the main reason why most people would support support on patreon but let's get into the video so we are apparently in the process of a uh, kicking kicking this dude's teeth in looks like he might be coming for me oh 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 okay it's a decent sized stack here i don't know where you're going I would like to win some sieges before we uh, end up needing to go back that. But uh, we've decided this is what we're going to go for. I'm going to take these two states in their entirety. Uh, this will allow me to accept Polish culture. Uh, where are we at here? Culture. Culture map mode. So Polish. These two states will allow me to accept Polish, which will make it way cheaper to core all of this in the future. Which, uh, yes, I know. Uh, Germany did not historically have this land, but I don't care. Chat. Take two seconds. Type a comment down below. Ask me. Ask me if I care. And the answer is a resounding nay. We're going to hold off until I can embrace the institution to take any more techs. I'm not going to be too fussed about it. We're ahead on mill, and uh, that is good enough for me. So, he is uh, occupying this stuff back again, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, hopefully we can prevent that from happening here. Looks like they're just running in between our men, which is fine. We are winning sieges down here. We have lots and lots of war participation. We do not need to give land to Hungary in this war, so that's really big. Our army reformer is Dad, Johann Kasper, so that's fine. Please. Plock is mine, and Warsaw is mine. Very good. Uh, we need the money. Yeah, reform desire is great. Um, papal influence is also pretty good. Uh, we are not going to stay Catholic, so I don't really care about any of this. Could use this, so that'll give us some extra manpower, and uh, the money will be good. So I will gladly take the money. I'll also gladly build a couple of these buildings here, which will increase our monthly income, which is very nice. Apparently, we lost a man down there. That's pretty annoying. So let's do this. There's a 10 stack down there. Got to keep an eye on them. Hopefully they're not coming for me over here. Oof. Oh, yeah, they might be. They might be. Oh, yikes. Papal state's opinion of me for clergy loyalty and papal influence. Pro pressure. Uh, culture in Kulm is Prussian. Nobility or base. Uh, let's just go with the money. Where my money at? I want the gold. Where the gold at? It's interesting. They're literally not even trying to fight me. Like, I think they know that I have such a strong mill tech advantage on them that they're just like, you know what? Oh, they actually did get mill tech, but we still mill six to their seven or to their uh, si uh, five? Mill five? Yes. Let's get a general down there just so that little four stack doesn't get wiped out. You guys do not need to be uh, attaching to me. Matter of fact, I would encourage you not to. Yeah, of course they took that province. It doesn't matter though. This is no no land that I wanted. Uh, maybe I can get away with giving them like one less province. I can look. Oh yeah, look at that. So much less war score. We'll be able to get that no problem. So, how are you doing? Seventeen percent liberty desire. You are at. Um, where are we at here? Thirty nine. Moldavia is not feeling too good from this one. Hmm. I'll have to think about how exactly we want to handle this. Ooh, Moldavia's got a little six stack running over here. Ah, that Polish stack is pretty... Hmm. Bro, why do I keep getting disease outbreaks over here? This is bogus. This game is rigged. It's rigged, I say. 
A Lithuania stack is um, sitting down there on the fort. No big deal. Ah, the classic. Which one is this? Yes, Lintu. No. Good song. I like this song. We don't need the extra morale, so I ain't worried about it. There we go. That's a 10 stack right there. And I'd rather Bohemia didn't get into these big fights. Because that's uh, taking away points that I could be using on myself. And we got a disease outbreak on his capital. The classic. I've lost all my manpower literally only to uh, attrition for the most part. Kind of a bummer. Let's head on up there. That's a large Denmark stack. Need to be careful with this seven stack here. I really can't let them take Krakow back. That would be bad. Okay, so we have the war score. We can totally do this now. I will take war reps as well. This is fine. And then 100% uh, him. We will get... 64 ducats, war reps. It says he'll lose one trust. That's not a big deal because uh, you have to lose at least five, I believe, to get the whole, like, oh, they broke promise of territory, so it should not affect us. We're going to be taking his capital. And uh, the aggressive expansion, no coalition. So how about that, chat? How about that? And uh, that also means we can get rid of this fort here because this communicates with here. See? We have a fort zone of control. Not bad at all. So as far as land here, uh, we'll keep this one here and turn this one off. Uh, this guy will handle all this devastation. So a couple of these provinces will be uh, burning for a while, but not too bad. Not, not too, too bad. So this is fine. All right. How about that? The free company. Yes, of course. High income. Yes, of course. We got some corruption. We're making money, so I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, we're going to need to core this, of course. Warsaw is 19 dev. Not bad at all. I think we can almost core it all. Very close. So let's just have you guys come down here. And uh, suppress rebels there. They're going to fire. There's nothing I can do about it. Just going to core this stuff up. See, we can't... Ex oh, wait. We can't accept Polish. So hold on a minute. Let's take a look at this. 38 months. But, 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 but. And this is a big but. We accept Polish culture and 28 months. Not bad, right, chat? See? I know some things. I know some things. I promise you I do. I've played this game quite a few hours. Let's get some more claims over here. Um, what's this one? 8 dev. Sounds good. 7 dev. 7 dev. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. We also... Also got decently big PP from that, so that's good. Um, I feel like we did not get nearly as much PP as we should have from that war, but that's okay. Eight peasants in Ermland, huh? So our force limit has definitely gone up as well, so we should probably build up to that. And we also should uh, begin the process of annexing him, which we shall. Uh, really? Okay, one more month for friendship. Poland has announced me as their rival. You sons of guns. You're just jealous. So, eight years, we will integrate you. That's fine. And, uh, we are very close to getting this in our capital. Possibly, I should do a little bit of dev. Let's see here. Can I get these guys? Ooh, they are very loyal. Very good. So, let's do some dev here. Let's do... Mm, Something like that. That'll get us up to 30. And then it should bring us the Renaissance. Very good. And with that, we should be able to... Let's also do that there. That's good. That will allow us to yoink that. And those, these guys will still be loyal. And they'll actually still be trending very high, which is great. We have a lot of crown land. And... Uh, Got to core that up. I forgot about that. Build that there. Build that there. Not bad at all. 
And what is our force limit now? 24. Not bad. Um, I'll get one more cab. And those guys there. Oops. There we go. Polish separatists. Well, accepting their culture really helped a lot, I think. And so, we are planning on forming Prussia as early as we humanly possibly can. Um, we are not even close on admin points, or on admin tech, so... No major rush, right? But now that we have the Renaissance here, we'll be able to uh, embrace that whenever the time comes. Just need to let it spread a little bit. No big deal. Let's also make sure you guys are on trade power. Very good. Turn that fort off. We don't need you anymore. Palmer has died tragically. Tragically, tragically. All right, so who is loyal? The merchants are loyal. So we can make the burgers mad. Prussian culture. Yeah, sounds good. Heinrich, the 263. Not, 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 not bad at all. Not bad at all. Your name shall be Josie. In honor of my patron. Josie, you're a legend. Von der Lippe. All right, not bad. So this fort can also get turned off. How are we doing on our uh, prosperity? Very close to prosperity here. Like next month? No, eh, almost. Uh, nobility for burger loyalty. I think I'd rather have the burgers be loyal than anybody else. There we go. We have prosperity here now. Very good. And it is growing up over here. I would prefer to not have this over here so we can start working on some prosperity. Let's core you up. Oh my gosh, Warsaw is so much. Yeah, we really do need to start saving up admin points. Definitely need to. Nice, we're gonna get prosperity here very soon as well, which is great. And then as soon as we can core up these guys, then we will only focus on admin points for the future. Matter of fact, let's switch on over. Cause he's only at two points, so. We're not getting any more points in the near future. It's gonna take some time, friends. It will take some time. So might as well maximize how many points we're getting right now. We have no rebels issues, so let's have you guys drilling. Yep, won't happen, very good. Not bad. How are we over here? We actually have two more force limit. What's our combat with though? 24. So this actually is this is fine actually. National manpower, devotion, we're good on clergy loyalty. Sure. Suppose I should add all my provinces to the HRA. That'll make him like me, yeah. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I thought it did. But it doesn't. So his capital over here, 7 dev, 13 dev, not bad at all. The Italian Wars in Venice. So Prussia does not have a generic tree. So we, when it, before we form Prussia, we need to make sure we click these buttons. Because they do have a unique tree brought to you from uh, the uh, 1.30 and Emperor update. Siege ability is king. Siege is what wins you wars. I don't care about Lithuania. He's loyal again, man. After that whooping, he's still loyal. have no diplomats to send here. You guys still allied to Denmark? You are. So he's got a lot of claims on him. I suppose I should get one claim. I'd like to go to war with these guys before we integrate him. Uh, that's not going to happen. Nope, not going to happen. Our truce with them is not up for quite a long time. So, the Divine Cause. Safeguard the Holy Sites for a year of prestige. Not bad. Morale of armies. Uh, very good. And dev cost. Ooh. Well, I think 
that uh, we are the holy men, holy warriors, so we are a crusader state after all. Well, maybe not crusader, but a, an, a Teuton, an order, a holy order. So, interesting fact about you. The Teutons were originally knights sent up to um, convert the Slavic pagans. So, and they ended up just settling in the area and uh, developed their own sort of culture, mod modern day known as Prussia, Prussian, and uh, swayed away from the church and converted to Protestantism quite early in the Reformation. Interesting stuff. So, I'm going to double up on this. I'm not sure how much that'll actually save us. 25%. So, I think it'll end up saving us like 120. So, I think if we can get a little closer... Eh, yeah, we can definitely double up. It's no big deal. Yep. We want Reform Desire. We want as much as we can get. As quickly as we can. We're only at 61%. So, it's still going to be some time before we can spawn a rev uh, center of a, conver a conversion center here. Yes, a fort in, in uh, Warsaw. I will gladly build a fort in Warsaw. That would be really good for us. We'll be able to embrace this in no time. There we go. Let those guys tick down for a couple months. Go back to drilling. How are we doing on drilling? Very good. Our professionalism is already almost up to 20. I love it. Boys, lads, and gals. I do have some girls. According to my YouTube analytics, about 1% of my viewers are women. So if you are a gal and you are watching this, God bless you. Integration is a slow process. We definitely can't afford to have all these guys. So keep the cav, I suppose. Yes, keep the cav, keep the cav. And then core this all up because this is my land now. Very good. I should probably be collecting here instead of steering from Krokov. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, we have a lot of ships. Cool. You guys will protect trade in Novgorod as well. You guys will come over here with them. I imagine we're way over our force limit. Though it's not too bad. I don't think we need so many of these transports though. So let's do those guys there. And then these guys here can uh, also get mothballed. There you go. Not bad at all. We're making a lot of money now. Very good. And have you guys go back to drilling. Are we at our force summit still? No, we dropped one. That's okay. We can stay over it. It's not a huge deal. These guys, galley combat ability will be useful for later on. But I think for now we'll go with ship trade power. Since that's kind of all we're using our navy for, for real. That will get us more money over here. And my goal is to... Yeah, I think we can double up. So... What is our max here? Oh yeah, 127. 1274. So we're definitely going to be able to embrace the institution. And take multiple Diplo and Miltex at the same time. Though... I would like to take at least one admin, because we're going to get unbalanced research. It's kind of just something that's going to happen. Or, uh, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have Timothy leading. Maybe we should have a uh, real general leading. Timothy, you are quite old, my friend. How old are you? 61. You've been a really good leader, man. I'll take more tax, please. That's how you make most of your money early game. Cool fact for you. So we should also... I thought I was building some spy network over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Poland, PU, Brandenburg. How did I miss that? Really, huh? Well, let's see here. I could totally vassalize Poland. Like... Or not Poland, Brandenburg. Well, that is what we're going to do. As soon as our truce is up with him, we're going to do that. We'll be able to use favors with him, and we'll probably be able to use favors with him. Interesting. Truce was up in 81, I believe. I would like to at least start that war before this episode is over. Hmm. Okay. I think we are going to yoink a loan here to pay for this. And you can see how cheap it is now. Oh, we're not going to be able to actually afford two. Unfortunate. We can afford one, and afford one. That's fine. 
first slot, we're way ahead on Mill. Like, way, way, way ahead on Mill. So, Mill is the only one that makes sense. You guys know me. I usually go quantity. Um, <laughs> I think I want to go quantity as well right now. Um, quantity economic is so good. You know what? Let's switch it up. Let's go um, offensive into innovative. Get us some better sieges, yeah? Let's do offensive into innovative. Has a really good policy, for those of you who don't know. Offensive innovative gives you... Uh, where's it at? Here. And the economic will give us cav combat, or artillery combat, which is pretty good. Where's it at here? Um, I'm not seeing it. I don't know. Yeah, for real though, where is it? I actually don't see it. I don't know, but innovative offensive gives you um, an additional 10% siege ability, I believe. So 30 total percent, really good. Hey, Fasting in Konigsberg, very cool. Is that because of high dev? I assume, maybe, I don't know. Very cool, well, that's wonderful. Um, so how does that actually work out then if we go to trade goods and we go to gems? There is, oh, I guess if I just click here, right, and you, Click on that. So we produce 1.9 out of the 30 produced in the world. And what is the bonus you get for it? Does it say? No. I think it's called strategic goods actually. Where's it at here? Yes, so gems. Yearly inflation reduction. Well, that's not super useful. We have 10% of the market share of copper, though. Recruitment time. That's pretty good. Yeah, with Delasco again. But how do we have 10% if we don't even... We have none. I'm confused now. Now I'm definitely confused. Is it because of, like, we're collecting the trade over here and Delasco again is producing so much? I assume. Because you have the, the this, however you say that, but that's plus five goods produced. So you can actually see here, if you click on this, they're producing six of the 27 produced in the entire world. Pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy. So now we've embraced institution. How are we looking on tech? So we are 577, seven, or 557 five, rather. I am going to try to vassalize Brandenburg. We definitely have the uh, aggressive expansion to do it, I think. Let's make sure that we are, in the meantime, sending those guys out to do that. Alexander of Austria, interesting. Alexander von Habsburg, not bad. Long live the emperor, I suppose. How far off are we? We're only at 65. It's still not going up much. Hmm. All right, well, there we go. Somebody's buying it down. A bunch of other people are getting the, uh, the event, and they're clicking it as well. So up to 69. Nice. Once it hits 100, we will immediately flip to Protestant. We could go wait and go Reformed, but uh, Protestant is fun. I like Protestant. Nice. I love losing Stab for no reason. I love it. Fun game. No, I'm just kidding. I got a free Stab early, so it only makes sense. Right, chat? It only makes sense. Uh, okay, so Prestige for free. Yes, please. And then burger loyalty. Oh, goody. Social mobility. Luckily, we hadn't yoinked land lately, recently, so we're good there. Uh, let's actually do this. Uh, if we can get the nobility one, that would be good. Austria. Yeah, totally. Super doable. All right. Long live Josie von der Lippe. So we actually don't. I think a reason why I lost the stability early on was because I was running a siege with my, with my uh, guy. So I think we want to piss off the burgers. So, Karl Josef, the 333 is our heir. Your name shall actually be... Um, I don't have my list up here, but I think... Ghost. It would be the next one. And if you're ever wondering, these people are my wonderful, wonderful patrons. Free mana. Yes, please. 
I will gladly, gladly, gladly take mana. And then... Um... How close are we here? August. So, let's get these guys over here. Turn these forts on. We're not over our force limit. Okay, very cool. Wait. They literally just broke free. <gasps> oh, pulling, 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 pulling. Okay, baby. Well, I can do this. Interesting, really. Okay, I guess I didn't even look at how uh, how he was feeling about being ruled by him. Okay, cool. So, let's uh, make sure we keep you on there. Well, let's see here. Yeah. We'll just wait until after the war to... Uh, to a yoink you. Next month, we can declare this war. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have any... Okay, I'm dumb. I'm really dumb, actually. I don't have any spy network on him. So that's not gonna happen. But this is fine, actually, because then, in the meantime, we'll get some spy network, and uh, we'll be able to beat up on him. I think we might want to collect here instead of uh, steering from Krakow. Let's try that. 8-3. Nope. Doesn't seem right. So transfer from there instead of Lubeck. 8-3 was what it was before. 8-4. Yep. Alright. So we're going to get some um, some spy network. We can get some claims on at least a couple of these provinces. Though none of it actually matters because we literally just want it as pretext to attack him. Ideally, Lithuania gets like their teeth kicked in. Who else is Is it literally just Poland, Moldavia? It is. Well, this isn't the end of the world. As long as I can at least pull, um, let's see here. Let's scornfully insult Burgundy. And this is definitely the wrapping up point. So we're going to need to um, get a claim here. And um, wait, do I have a claim? Oh, in the HRE. Right, right, right. So let's get our claim. Free. Free tech. I will gladly take free tech. Or cheap tech, rather. All right. Saxony declared war on Brandenburg. Yikes. The Saxon conquest of Brandenburg. Well, that is not ideal. Because I was really hoping to attack... Oh my gosh, are you kidding? We got busted spying. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, ideally, in the next episode, we can attack and vassalize Brandenburg and maybe take back a bit of his clay. But uh, yes, if you guys are enjoying, please make sure that you show your support. Leave a like on the video. Like I said, it's huge. It helps the channel thrive in the YouTube algorithm. It's weird. I don't like it, but I have to ask if you're enjoying Leaving a like is the best way to help us for free. If you want to subscribe and catch every video, you can ding the bell and it'll send you notifications when we upload. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, but the Discord also will uh, ping you when we upload a video. It's going to be linked in the description below. And our Patreon, which I have mentioned before, is a huge, 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 wonderful way to support the channel if it is within your means. Um, financial support on Patreon is what allows us to continue doing what we're doing. And we're pushing to get $1,000 per month in subscriptions. So... If that's something you would be interested in, it's going to be linked in the description below the video. And that's all I got for you. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Make sure you check out a couple of our other playlists that you might enjoy. Those are going to be linked on the screen. But I'd like to give a huge special thanks to my top December patrons, Junk Binary, James Elrod, Josie Kidder, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Jack Eden, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Thara, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, Thomas Jarden, Disdain, Jay Cutchell, N Winkler, RJ Pilot, Home TV, and many more. I appreciate you guys, and I couldn't do it without your support.